Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to create a calorie deficit. The concept of calorie deficit is, um, is a solution to weight loss. So, if you find yourself in a position where you, you've been told or you feel like you're, you have to lose weight or you need to lose weight, the solution is calorie deficit because calorie deficit is the foundation of weight loss because if you don't get yourself into a calorie deficit I don't care what you eat I don't care uh, what type of diet you're on if you don't get yourself into a calorie deficit it's not going to work so the, the first obviously the first obvious question is what is a calorie deficit? A calorie deficit, or some people might say caloric deficit, is the same thing. A calorie deficit is basically the process of taking in less energy than you burn. So basically, we food and drinks are we consume food and drinks and they contribute to our energy to our energy levels they, you know when you take in food and drinks in your body it adds up to your it, it contributes in terms of calories to your body and that's how you obviously uh, use, use energy and that's how you gain weight now the, the way you gain weight really is when you eat in, in the calorie surplus when you continue to eat in a calorie surplus on a daily basis, basically if you continue to eat in in in, in, a, in, a, in an amount that you don't you don't expend through energy, you're going to gain weight. So basically, now the reverse is calorie deficit. You, if you continue or if you have a plan of eating less energy than you burn through physical activities, you are going to lose weight so the, 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 the way to I'm gonna show I'm gonna share some simple steps that you can take to quickly uh, help you get into a calorie deficit so obviously the obvious is you know exercise the obvious is you know you have to uh, go to the gym or you have to start uh, uh, doing um, workouts at home or whatever you want but, but some simple steps that you can take are, are for example you could, you could start in your office, you could start in your workplace is um, taking the steps in t instead of uh, in, uh, taking the, a, a lift like a lot of people are used to taking lifts at work or, or places that they go out to but you can, you can change that as quickly as possible as quickly as tomorrow you can change that instead of taking a, a, a lift you could just take the stairs instead of taking the shortcuts to get to the, the corner store by your house or taking a shortcut to uh, uh, go out to places that you love to visit, you could take the long way to get there. You know, instead of driving there, maybe it takes five minutes to drive there. You could walk there. You could just walk there. It will probably take about I don't know about 15, 20 minutes. And simple things like that, because walking is an exercise. You know, it's, it's simple things like that that will help you get into a calorie deficit. And you don't even have to sign up for the gym. You could just start doing that as quickly as tomorrow, all right? So other things, obviously, planned exercise is the best way, and uh, 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 in combination with obviously your nutrition, <laughs> because obviously when we talk about energy, if you want to really uh, take it seriously and get yourself into a calorie deficit, you're going to actually reduce the amount of energy that your body consumes because a lot of people obviously we love food we are human beings it's one of our, our physiological needs but you don't have to eat in excess all the time you know when you're trying to achieve a calorie deficit you have to eat way less than you normally eat okay if you for example if you normally get a uh, 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 if you normally consume 3,000 calories daily, all right, you could, you could uh, cut that down to 2,500 calories 
right? And as the, as the week goes by, you could cut that down to 2,400 calories. You could cut that down to, because no matter what you eat, a lot of people are focused on different types of diet, you know, instead of actually adjusting their energy levels. You know, people, people want to talk about oh, low carb diets and low fat diets and ketogenic diets and uh, uh, intermittent fasting, all this fasting fads or whatever. The, 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 the basis of all this fasting diet, all this diet nonsense, the basis is calorie deficit. I don't care if you, if you get all your foods from protein or healthy fats, for example. Lower your carbohydrates if you like. If you still eat in excess, if you eat in a surplus, even, if you, even though you're not eating carbs, if you still eat in a surplus, you're not going to lose weight. Okay, so it's not even a matter of oh, what micronutrients, what, what micronutrients is the best for you. It's just a matter of reducing the amount of energy that you consume and increasing your activity levels. Okay, those two things, decreased um, energy consumption, increased activity levels, together, magical, you're going to lose weight I, I'm, I'm proof of this you know I used to be uh, way bigger than I am now <laughs> you know now I'm, um, I'm, I'm 75 kg right that's where I want to be okay and if I want to gain weight I will it's easy but I used to be uh, I used to be um, I think about two years ago I used to be around uh, 85 kg I think yeah but you know it's, it's, it's not gonna be, obviously it's not gonna be easy. It's, it's, you have to it takes a lot of patience, but if you put in the work, right, and take in the steps that I've just covered, you're going to lose weight. It's as simple as that. So don't focus on uh, where you're where you're getting your your foods. Oh, is it fat? Is it protein? Is it mag? Is it um, uh, carbohydrates or whatever? Focus on decreasing the amount of energy that you're consuming through food and drinks, right? And focus on increasing your activity levels through uh, walking, simple things like walking, or through plant exercise. So those are the two, those, because those, those are the two most important things to get you into a calorie deficit. So that's it. That's it. If you like this video, if you like this video, please smash that like button and comment below. Let me let me know what you think of this video because I'll I'll keep releasing more videos like this. And if you want to read about this subject of how to create a calorie deficit, please I'll leave a link to my blog post where I'm going to detail a lot of things, a lot of other steps that you can take that will help you achieve a calorie deficit. So look into the link in the description and check out my blog post and you will like it too so thank you for watching i'll see you next time